happy you guys are back and I am back to see you guys and you guys to see me. So, I guess you're wondering why she got this stuff laid out on her cabinet. So today, I know you guys, I know you guys been waiting for me to do a DIY. So today I'm going to show you how to make a countertop, marble countertop DIY on a budget. Because y'all know I'm a mom on a budget. But the things you will need, I purchased this marble countertop paper, um, which is just like film paper, it's sticker paper um, from Amazon. And I think I'll pay like eleven dollars and some cents for that and then i got this from 99 cent only store which is just their cloth uh, where we're gonna wipe down the um the countertop to make sure everything is clean so this sticker won't like you know crunch all up while i'm doing it and then we need we need a box cutter if you don't have a box cutter um definitely use a pair of scissors um, I just feel comfortable with my box cutter because that is like, um, make things really quick for me. And then this is my homemade DIY, um, kitchen spray. And that's about it. So let me show you what I have already done, which is this lovely marble countertop. It's very, you know, slick and it's really pretty, you know. So I already got my stuff set up right here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I, you know, do that in just a second. So if I forgot to mention, make sure you keep all your scraps because I mainly took some of those scraps and put back there on the back wall. I still got some more to go and um, I'm probably going to need some more scraps for this one. So basically what you do is pretty much wipe down your area and I'm going to be doing this with one hand today because... Um, your girl don't have her tripod, so, um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to multitask. Go and get this done. So, like I say, you definitely want to clean up the area and make sure everything is nice and clean. I forgot to clean this bottom half here. And, because that's what's going to make your, um, marble sticker stick. So, I pretty much, um, know what where I want this marble sticker to pretty much stick and where I want it to go. Um, you do have to measure some things, but not everything. So I just want to stick it up close to the sink, the perimeter of, oh, the perimeter of my sink. And you're going to be tugging and pulling a lot, so get prepared because you're going to want this the way you want it. So as you can tell, everything looks pretty much even. And if you don't get it right under the perimeter, you can definitely go in with your, um, your extras and just kind of, you know, push it in there and make it look nice and clean. So yes, girl. I had to go ahead and change my cabinets because, um, as you can tell, look, it doesn't even, like, fill up the whole ends, but I'm going to go in. The good thing about marble paper is because I love the marble, and you can kind of switch it however you want it, put it however you want it, all that good stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up, and I'll be definitely right back. So you guys, I pretty much finished the sides of the cabinet. I still got a little bit more to go. I'm working on this section over here, which is, um, let me move all this good stuff. But this is how the cabinet looked before and now it looks like marble. So, um, um, so. What you want to do is spray wipe clean and make sure everything is clean and you get all the dirt off there, off the cabinet, smooth out 
but actually measure out where you want your um, marble paper to go, sticky paper to go. And as you guys can see, I have a little bit of wrinkles, but that is no problem. I'm going to smooth those out. And so I got half of it done right now. And then I want you guys to see underneath where it's just like the sticky paper. That's the sticky paper. So what I keep doing is um, pulling little by little like this. And just kind of even it out. Trying to get bubbles and um, all that good stuff out. And does my hand hurt? I'm not going to lie. It does hurt a bit. It really does. But I really want these cabinets. I wasn't going to pay a lot of money because I did call around to see if they had um, cheaper versions of, you know, marble cabinets. But everything I called was over like 5000 So this mama ain't got that type of money. So Amazon, thank you so much for saving me because you did with these uh, sticker papers and yes you guys these do come off so if you happen to move or whatever and you're worried about getting this off you, these do come off so I'm going to finish the rest of this and I'm just going to keep smoothing it out and you guys are going to see me do that And this is the paper where the marble was on. Marble people, paper. <laughs> and so you want to keep tugging on it like I was telling you before. And I kind of messed up when I was cutting it. I don't know, when it gets down to the bottom half, I like I really like messed it up because um, the way that I cut it. And I see like this part is like trying to stick together and I'm not liking it. So I'll definitely be right back. <laughs> so I want to come back and tell you guys, but, um, or show you guys that I got that little bunched up piece. But when you have bubbles like this and you can't get those bubbles out, all you have to do is take your box cutter or some scissors and poke a hole in it. And that should be like a done deal. Um, that's what I've been doing. Just kind of punch a hole in it and let it do what it do and then um, I'm just going to head, go ahead and start smoothing out everything and I'll definitely be right back with the whole finish of my marble cabinets on a budget so I'm working on the last half of the marble cabinet and I literally only have this so what I did just quickly order some from Amazon and I'm probably gonna put a picture of um, the marble that I'm ordering up and yeah I love the way that even if you're cutting it like the way it is you can see those lines but as I bag the camera up you really can't see them anymore because like the marble is so like this is so cool like oh my gosh I'm like still in shock because I just couldn't believe that I was going to ever have marble cabinets and then I'm going to start um, doing something with these cabinets um, because I don't know if I'm going to leave them that color or make them a darker color, paint them a dark, darker color or what. But it's all going to come together, hopefully. So, um, if you want to see the finished product of these, uh, the finished uh, DIY of these cabinets, stick around because I'm going to show you in just a sec. So, I just put a, uh, put a few items on my cabinet so you guys can see but I'm pretty much done with this side just nice marble counter tops like I said you can always blend things in because look if you can see this it doesn't even match but from afar it doesn't look like it's mismatch but I'm really loving them I'm so loving these countertops. Yes. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I took my time and did this. So you guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. Comment below because I always reply back, you guys. But this is what I call a DIY marble kennel top. And guess what, girl? It was on a budget. I'll see you guys later. Bye.